Mark Smith is the organizer and promoter for the Lime 100 Mini by Grace. And not only does he throw an amazing event here at the second annual Lime 100, but he took the time while I was out on the track to give Cameron this medal. And I just want to give a big shout out to him for not only throwing a great race, but for uh, having the compassion to... Uh, give this medal uh, to Cameron and a big shout out to him. Thanks again, Mark. I also want to give a big shout out to this guy right here, Scott Henderson, who let me borrow his mini bike for the Lime 100 last year and the Lime 100 this year. I couldn't have done it without him. Thank you so much, Scott. I didn't get a lot of great footage considering I was actually out on the course during the whole stock class race, but this is what I've got as you can see here, a little bit of the first turn and then hill climb. It was a great course. Uh, a little over a mile, I believe. Absolutely the best layout, I believe. Uh, big fan of this course this year. Had a blast and was able to put down quite a bit faster times than last year. I also didn't get any shots or any of the action of the other two classes, the modified hardtail and the modified softtail. But here at the end of this action, you guys will see the award ceremony. So again, a big shout out to everybody that came out and participated, to all of the volunteers, and of course to Mark Smith again for putting this race on. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'll let you finish out watching a little bit of the action here and then get to those awards. Don't forget to drop a like, don't forget to share, Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of the race if you were there. Much love you guys. I will let you finish out with the awards here. Billy D, mini bike racing on out of here. I will see you in the next one. So I got a very good friend that I run Lone Star Gambler 500 with. His name is Uncle Poncho. That's what we call him affectionately. Um, he's been making this these awards for a little while, a few years, or something like that. He made nine trophies for this event. I'm sorry, make that ten trophies for this event because there's one that's a little special. We'll talk about it at the end. I'm going to pull out the trophies and let you all get your eyes on it real quick. All right, y'all. What we're going to start with are the lap leading winners one two and three for each class so i want to thank you all for coming out to uh the, out in the middle of nowhere in oklahoma most of you know i'm not from oklahoma i'm from texas but this is like my favorite place to be in the world i love it here um i'm from the pack northwest originally where we have mountains and roads and property and it's all public and it's cool we don't have that here but i love this place it, it just reminds me of home so just thank you for coming out and spending the time. I really appreciate it. Who finished the stock race? Oh, come on. Is this really everybody? Where's Seth Price? Yes! Come Woo! here, Seth. So, we had two technical failures today in this system, which is not bad because it's a brand new system, and it, two. Seth was one of them. However, we kept track of Seth's laps the whole time because it was reporting as just some number, some random number, but every time he went by, that same random number came up, so we recorded that number. Seth got 27 laps in a stock race. 
We did not get his final time. We couldn't get his final time, but he was leading every time. Every volunteer agreed that he was in the lead, that he was lapping everybody, right? So we gave him one lap by default because we don't know how many times he lapped everybody, but we know he was in the lead the whole time. So we gave him one lap by default. So first place for the stock race is Seth Price. Number two, 26 laps. With a best time of 332.7, Nick Birch. Come on out, Nick. Good job. All right, number two. Sorry, guys. Another trophy. Photo finish. Number two. Thanks, man. Good racing. Yeah, I love this one. There's this guy with this really weird name. It's like. Chunko or Concho or Where's Chancho? Come here, dude. Number three with three thirty-three. I mean he only lost best lap on that uh, in stock by point three of a second. I didn't have my helmet on when you started. You didn't have my helmet on when I started? Well that's not my fault. I told you to be ready. <laughs> he passed tech, right? Alright, third place. Third place. How about a handshake, brother? Nice job. Uh, one more thing I want to call out and just kind of remember this in your head. I already know this answer, but the best average lap time for Sock was Nick Birch at 348. Right? So he had the best overall average of all the laps that he laid down was three, at three minutes, 48 seconds. Who raced hardtail? You guys hauled ass. Right? I mean it. Like you were cruising. Okay. Where's Michael Robinson? Come here, Michael. Michael Robinson did 31 laps on a hardtail. His ass is he's never going to recover. Okay. <laughs> That's the way it is, man. So he did 31 laps. His best lap time was actually 254, which is funny because the second place person had a better lap time, but did fewer laps. Lime 100 trophy. Good job, buddy. Congratulations, man. All right, who's next? Um, Thomas Wren. Two minutes, 50 second best lap time at 29 laps. Good job, brother. Good job. The green one. It's the green one, right? Yeah. All right, guess what? These Wren guys, man. I don't know what's up with them, but third place is Chris Wren at 309. Number of laps was 31, 29, and 28. That was at 254, 250, remember lower lap count, and 309. Best lap was 309. Good job, brother. All right, what you've all been waiting for. So I wanna throw something out here real quick. First and second place both did 35 laps. First and second place we're, I've got it listed at two seconds apart, but it was really like 1.6 seconds apart, right? Third place, he's gonna love this because man, this guy made such a heroic effort. Um, so, without further ado, um, Dave Sedoti, dude, you did it. First place, first place. Woo! 35 laps at two minutes and 44 seconds. All right. Who thinks they got second place? Where's Carl? Carl! Come on. 
I've only seen you in your gear the whole time, except for one minute here at registration. You've been rigged up like the whole time, dude. Congratulations, man. So, so you lost, so you know, by a two second average. And by the way, there was literally, a, a, we did the total lap count by time. You lost by two seconds. I was coming for it. In a hundred minutes of racing, you lost by two seconds, okay? Hey man, that was tough out there. That's what I'm saying. It's by two seconds over 100 minutes. You guys were neck and neck the whole time. All right, so 2.42, yep. Where's Andrew? Come here, dude. Okay. <laughs> he raced three quarters of a race with no pink, man. <laughs> yeah. Dude. I'm proud of you, man. I really am. The fact that you didn't finish that. And by the way, he still got 32 laps and third place with the best lap time of 247. So, I mean, I mean, come on, man. That was rad, dude. I'm proud of you, man. Okay. There's one last score that's important for the day. And then we're going to talk about some of the other prizes that we're offering here. And we're going to talk a little bit about our sponsors. Um, best average lap time of the day. Dave Sedoti. Two minutes, 54 se uh, 52 seconds, point four. Two fifty two point four. Yeah, right? It's not a mini, a mini bike. No. I can assure you, I've seen some of the pictures this guy's posted. He That is absolutely a mini bike. What kind of bike did it start as, Dave? What kind? CT200 EXU. CT200 EXU, yep, yep. The same bike that, like, I mean, other people were riding that bike today. So, yep, 80% of the bike is, is original. So, man, you want to get into, machine, like, building stuff, or you want to have your bike find out some really cool stuff, talk with Dave. Like there's something in my heart for Go Power Sports. They're like the little shop that could, right? The local guys, right? And they provide great parts, great service. They do everything that they can to help you out. They provided three of the four prizes today. So where's where's Taylor? Is Taylor here? Bernie, you can accept on his behalf, but if Taylor was here, it would be really helpful to me. Oh shit. Yeah, go check that out, Christy, please. Okay, so I was talking about Go Power Sports and our sponsorship here, right? They sponsored three great prizes. They really did. Um, so, Bernie, Taylor's gone. I don't know where he is, but... But, you know, things have changed since you've been on board, so we know you'll run the show now. Pretty right? So, so come on over here. I got something for you here. Sorry. <laughs> over here a little bit where I'm not. There. So, Poncho specifically built this really cool Lime 100 trophy for Go Power Sports. It's thank you for uh, the work that they're doing with us. So, we appreciate that very much. Thanks, man. Really appreciate you. Thanks for coming out. Okay. We got some prizes to give away. Okay, so we're gonna start with, there's a special prize. And I'm gonna need some crowd input here. Um, where's David Rogers, come here real quick. I need to borrow you. So this special prize is for the, we're calling it the underdog award, but this guy should have won. He was kicking ass. Dave might have given a run for the money long run, we don't know, but man, he was killing it and his bike broke. And then his bike broke. And I've seen this bike run lots of laps. Never broke, right? So what I wanna what I wanna say is like he held the lowest lap time of the day until the very last lap of the day, and that lap time was Carl's. Right? Woo! 
the very best lap time was Woo! I think uh, 242.2 was Carl's. Woo! Yep. He held a 243 the entire day. It was like his fifth lap was 243, right? So I, I want to vote for him. I want to vote for him to get an award, but there's two other underdogs who will qualify for that award. So I would like anybody to volunteer anybody from hardtail or stock class that you think was really exceptional today and just had a bad day. Preferably somebody that finished the lap. All right, come on over. We got another vote. What's your name again? Ashley. That's right. <laughs> Kenny's not hardtail though. We got a soft tail already. I would love, but I got to do one per class. Okay, who was riding a hardtail today? That was. You rode a hardtail. You did. Yeah. Which one of you didn't get scored? That was you. What did you do that was special? Uh, I, I wiped out. No, no, hardtail. <laughs> Why are you the underdog? I wiped that twice. I wiped that twice, but I stopped two times and changed brake handle. This dude's chain fell off. Like you had to put his chain back on, yeah. on the hill? Wait, yeah. where's the handlebar guy? The bailing wire? Right here. Right here. Wait a minute, hold on. Whoa, yes. I'm not trying to take away from yes. you. But this guy rode the whole race with the handlebars that were on with a damn ratchet strap. Oh, oh yeah. And hey, wait a minute. Did you also ride skinny tires? Yeah, sweat tires. Alright, the, the crowd. I got I got it. Okay. Come here, Keaton. I'm sorry, man, but I gotta call him in. I, I gotta call him in. Okay, so these three people all did something kind of exceptional today in their racing, right? They impress the crowd enough to get picked up. So what I want to do is it's going to be just like the game shows, right? I'm going to go like this, and you're going to give me a loud cheer. And then I'm going to go like this, and then, you know, right? And we're going to measure the sound of this crowd, okay? That was pretty loud. Okay? She got you, David. All right. It's obvious. It's a no-brainer. All right. So I hope you have a use for it because you just want a juggernaut uh, uh, torque converter. It's badass. Let me go grab that here. There's your juggernaut, man. Nice. Best lap time of the day. Very best lap time of the day. Where's Carl? Where'd he go? Carl, come here. You got the best lap time, so we know you know how to race. But I believe you had some, a couple of times you had to pull in here and get some work done. Well, I just, no, I just had one to get gas. I didn't have to one to get gas? Well, then well then you're still going to win until it's in racing engine. Awesome. <laughs> Either way, you're going to win the till it's in. You got the engine, <laughs> you didn't win. you have a fabrication shirt on, fab the whole mini bike around that engine and race next year. That's right. The entire thing. I mean, it Let's get some pictures over here this way. Nice job. Thank you, Mark. You bet, man. Best time of the day. All right. There's a couple more cool, cool prizes. All right. We might have a problem here, though. Hold on. Best average lap time. Could have gone to Dave Sidoti, but he is actually the lap leader for today okay, we're done giving day prizes. yeah <laughs> hold on hold on oh there, there's something else coming he's the lap leader of the day um but the best average lap time for somebody that's not qualifying for anything else nick birch 348 so nick i hope you're ready man where is it yeah you can you bring that up kirk yeah, that one. I hope you wanted a Mega Moto. Thank you, Go Power Sports. That's a badass prize. It says what? Caution add engine oil. Caution add engine oil. Yeah. 
Caution. You might want to put a motor in that, bad boy. <laughs> nice job, man. Nice job. Good job, bro. I don't. I have a few people that have really helped me to get this off the ground over the years, and I mean, Dave's never asked for anything. He helps. He he runs the tracks. This guy was out here just was it last weekend, doing a hundred minute enduro on the track that we couldn't run. By the way, he ran an enduro last weekend, right? There's a reason he won the most laps. There's a reason because he works hard. He really works hard to race. He knows these tracks. He works so hard, and he won today. He's the lap winner, right? So today, um, you are the proud new winner of a brand new Coleman BT200 Woo! in lime green so uh we're gonna let you pick that up in a minute actually let's get a picture over here at the at the deal yeah yeah you have to hold it <laughs> the whole thing let these guys oh you want to ride it all right sweet do it dude wait one more time so you get a picture of it man all right